Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The tent, which was called the meeting tent, Moses used to pitch at some distance away outside the camp. Anyone who wished to consult the Lord would go to this meeting tent outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, the people would all rise and stand at the entrance of their own tents, 
watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses entered the tent, the column of cloud would come down and stand at its entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. On seeing the column of cloud stand at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and worship at the entrance of their own tents. The Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one man speaks to another. Moses would then return to the camp, but his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not move out of the tent. Moses stood there with the Lord and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus, the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity, continuing his kindness for a thousand generations, and forgiving wickedness and crime and sin, yet not declaring the guilty guiltless, but punishing children and grandchildren to the third and fourth generation for their father's wickedness. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. So Moses stayed there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights, without eating any food or drinking any water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, 
the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send His angels, and they will collect out of His kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, the disciples approached Jesus and made a request. They said to Jesus, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. My dear brothers and sisters, like the disciples, there are also many things that we do not understand. There are many things in life that we need to be explained, that need to be explained to us. Because life is like a parable that we do not fully comprehend. And when life becomes non-comprehensible, when we do not understand life, where do we go to seek explanations? Kapag marami na tayong katanungan sa ating buhay, kapag maraming bagay sa ating buhay ang hindi natin maintindihan, kapag ang labo-labo na ng ating pinagdaraanan, saan ba tayo humahanap ng kasagutan? Like the disciples, let us also go to Jesus, for Jesus will give us the explanation we need. Like the disciples, let us also go to Jesus and admit that we do not fully comprehend everything. And let us allow Jesus to open our eyes and to open our minds to His Word, to His explanation. Jesus will enlighten us in order to discover the meaning of the parable of life. The good news, my dear brothers and sisters, is that it is not difficult to go to Jesus. Kapag barami tayong mga katanungan, hindi naman talaga mahirap pumunta kay Jesus. Because Jesus is always present. Because Jesus is always here. Because Jesus chose to dwell among us. And this is what is shown to us by our first reading today. In our first reading, we heard about the meeting tent. The meeting tent is a sort of a temporary sanctuary, a portable sanctuary where one goes in order to meet God. Moses would always go to the meeting tent and in the meeting tent, Moses will consult God. Remember that during this time, the Israelites were still journeying in the desert. And because they were constantly traveling, they had no fixed 
temple or fixed sanctuary where they could worship God. And so the presence of God in the midst of the people of Israel was represented by that meeting tent. It was the sign of God's presence among them. It was the sign of God being available to them. And the meeting tent is the place where they will consult God, where they will ask questions to God, and where, where, where God will give them answers. My dear brothers and sisters, where do you go when you need explanations? Kapag kayo'y naguguluhan sa inyong buhay, saan ba kayo nagpupunta? Sino ba ang inyong pinupuntahan? Kapag marami tayong katanungan, kanino tayo humahanap ng sagot? Today, we are invited to go to Jesus. Huwag kung kani-kanino maghahanap ng sagot, baka mali ang makuha nating sagot. Huwag kung saan-saan hahanap ng kasagutan na magbibigay ng liwanag sa atin. Baka lalo lamang tayong maguluhan. Go to Jesus and He will clarify everything. Go to Jesus and Jesus will give you the answers. Go to Jesus and Jesus will send the Holy Spirit to send to give us the wisdom that we need. And if in case we go to Jesus and we do not immediately get the answer, then Jesus will give us the faith to believe in Him even if answers are not readily available. Please stand. Jesus Christ taught us how to enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray for the coming of that kingdom, knowing that the Holy Spirit is within us, helping us to pray. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that servants of the church may follow God's will and seek the good of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those entrusted with dispensing justice and interpreting laws may look to Christ as source of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may wait for God's harvest time and not pass harsh judgment on others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the elderly may be sustained by our thoughtfulness and friendship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be gathered into the harvest of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who need our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of heaven and earth, hear the pleas of your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an announcement. Starting this Sunday, the 1st of August, we will be implementing the use of the Stay Safe application endorsed by the local government of Manila for a more centralized contact tracing. Lalong-lalo na po para sa mga daily mass goers, para po hindi araw-araw ay susulat tayo doon sa contact tracing form, this will be quicker, contactless, and more efficient way of contact tracing. And so, we wish to explain to you the steps in order to use this Stay Safe application. First is to go to the website www.staysafe.ph and then you will be asked to register your cell phone number. A one-time PIN will be sent to you and you will have to key in that OTP and you will be asked to provide some personal information and your health declaration. And then, a personal QR code will be generated to you. Please save this QR code on your cell phone. Pwede nyo rin pong iprint o ipalaminate itong QR code na ito which will be your personal QR code. Tuwing dar, pupunta kayo sa Manila Cathedral upang magsimba, pagpasok po ninyo sa ating pintuan, ay iiskan lamang yung ating QR code. Yun na po yung ating contact tracing. You may also check our Facebook page for the instructions on how you could generate your own personal QR code. Maraming salamat po sa inyong cooperation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.